This time, we will talk about the CH341A programmer topology, and we will take a closer look at this tool called the CH341A programmer. Here I have some CH341A Black Edition programmers. We'll open one of these programmers packages. Yes, this is the CH341A Black Edition programmer. The mention of Black Edition refers to its physical form which is predominantly black. Now we will see the physical size. Even without casing, with a relatively small size. This tool is very suitable because they often program IC series 24 and 25. As we know, the CH341A programmer is a tool that functions to repair, flash, various types of memory. Able to read, backup, delete, and re-flash IC series 24XXX and 25XXX. We find various variants of the CH341 programmer on the market. Of the many models in circulation, programmers CH341A Black Edition, lately more and more in demand. The physical form, which is dominated by black, with gold lines around it, makes this programmer look more luxurious. The shape is slightly elongated like this, with rounded or blunt edges, adds to the beauty of this tool. It can be said that the combination of color and physical form makes this model more special than the others. Next we will take a closer look. In our opinion, this product is sturdy and physically beautiful, then tough in terms of function, but still at an affordable price. What we are looking at here is the appearance of the top. This is a ZIF socket that we usually find in programming tools. With a movable lever. Up and down. Like this. To lock the IC that we will program. When viewed from behind, this is how it looks. I rotate it, so that we can view this tool from a different angle. Hopefully you can see more clearly. This is the IC that is at the heart of this tool. Namely ICCH341A. We'll see the PCB. This is a double layer PCB, with a thickness of 1.6 millimeters. This is the lower layer, and this is the top layer. The designer of this tool makes it easy for us, by providing labels on the important parts of the tool. Pay attention to the following pin headers. You must know this part, because this is very important. Pin 1 and pin 2 are connected with a jumper pin. Like this. This means that this tool will be enabled in programmer mode. If you want to change the function in serial TTL mode, then move this jumper pin. Get over here. Here, on the bottom label, there is a clue. Pins 1 to 2 for the mode programmer. Pins 2 to 3 for serial TTL mode. Now we will move it to the default position. Namely in programmer mode. We return it. Get over here. If you are still confused, the difference is programmer mode and serial mode. Later we will discuss specifically. For the time being, we will focus on the physical form of the CH341A Black Edition programmer. 
we are trying to present this video. Like this. We show a little slow and repetitive. This solely aims so that colleagues who do not yet have this tool can take a closer look. Now we will examine the supporting components of the CH341A programmer. On the screen you can see, on the left is the physical image, and on the right is the series or schematic image. We start from the USB connector used. The USB connector used is the USB a mail connector. With such a model, the programmer CH341A can be plugged directly into the female USB A port on a computer or laptop. Or you can also use the help of a connecting cable or an extension cable like this. Next component R1. This component is used as a power supply protection from the USB port. This component of R1 is worth 0 ohm. Apart from using a 0 ohm resistor, this R1 can also use a fuse or fuse. Apart from R1, there is also a resistor array which is used to limit the current at pin 1 ICCH341A. Then to limit the current on the LED power indicator. And the next two resistors are used to send an activity signal on from 15 and 23 of ICCH341A. So a total of five resistors are used in the CH341A programmer. ICCH341A requires 5V of power supply. Power supply sources come from USB port. Where to supply the IC which want to program, then power supply 5V from the USB port, through the voltage reducing IC, i.e. ICU1 is ICLM1173.3 volt. The voltage out of the IC is 3.3V. This voltage is objectively adjusted to the need to make the IC to be programmed. The average will only need a power supply of 3.3 volt. As an indicator of power supply, a LED power indicator is provided. If this LED lights up, it means that there is a power supply from the USB port that has entered the circuit. On the right, there is a LED indicator to monitor the device while it is working. This LED run gets a signal from pin 15 and pin 23 of ICCH341A. For the input voltage stabilizer on U1 or LM1117, a capacitor C1 of 100NF is installed. Likewise at the LM1117 output, a capacitor C104 is also installed a combination in the regulator circuit that we usually find. Pin V3 ICCH341A is a power pin that must be connected to ground with a capacitor coupling of 4.7 nanofarads. Capacitors C4 and C5 each of 20 picofarad, mounted on pins 13 and 14, or legs for Y1 crystal input and output. Crystal Y1 is a 12 mHz oscillator. And this is the heart of this programmer, the ICCH341A. You can see the CH341A datasheet in this video description. This is a zip socket that has a very flexible function. You can install a long leg IC or dip and dill on this socket. Or you can also use a help tool in the form of a socket or converter IC. 
For example, if you want to flash ICSOP8 packaging, then you can use a socket converter like this. This ZIF socket model is commonly used in programmer or uploader tools. So that it seems to be a mandatory requirement for an IC programmer device. This is the 7 pin header which controls the function of this programmer. If pins 1 and 2 are connected, this tool will function in programmer mode. If header pins 2 and 3 are connected, the programmer will function in TTL or serial mode. Pay attention to pins 4 and 5. There are TX and RX pins for serial data in out function. Pin 6 is ground. If you need a voltage supply, then pin 7 provides a voltage of 5 volts. 7 pin header on the left is a pin with the functions clock, chip select, MOSI, and MISO. As with the pin header on the right, there is also a power supply provided, where pin 6 has an output of 3.3 volts and at pin 7 has an output of 5 volts. For more details, in the following image I show the programmer from the top and bottom side by side. As mentioned earlier, if you want to use this programmer in programmer mode, then connect pin 1 and 2 by using a jumper pin. And if you want to use this tool in TTL or serial mode, the pins that must be jumpered are pin 2 and pin 3. Next, this pin is TXD or transmits data and this pin RXD or receive data. This is a ground pin. And this is a 5 volt power pin. And for the right header pin, in a row, these are the pins, clock, chip select, MOSI, MISO, pin ground, pin 3.3, 3 volt and pin 5 volt. Another important thing that you must know about the CH341A programmer is the position of the IC on the ZIF socket. This socket can be used for IC series 25XXX and IC series 24XXX. If what you are going to program is IC series 25, then the position is on the top, facing downwards. Pay attention to the leg of pin 1, as shown in the red circle. If what you are going to program is IC24 series, then the position on the bottom, facing downwards. Pay attention to the leg of pin 1, as shown in the red circle. In an emergency, when you have to program an SMDIC, either an IC with SOP or SSOP packaging, if you don't have a socket converter, This tool provides footprint for this purpose. For ICSOP8 in the same size. Four rows on the right and four rows on the left. Pay attention to the print foot for pin 1. For ICSOP16 and similar, 8 rows above and 8 rows below. Pay attention to the print foot for pin 1. Thus we present this video, hope it is useful. If you think this video is useful, please support us by clicking the like and subscribe button. Comment and share, so that more people get information from this video.
Thanks for watching.